together we will get through this. We will. And Birdie and I are going to share with you today how we have been laughing our way through this. <laughs> That's how we practice is that she would laugh at that part. So one thing that we have been doing is reading some of our favorite books. And one of the books is Winging It. Winging It. Winging It by Sloane Tannen, one of our favorites. She has lots of different chick books. Uh, I think we have all of them. We've been reading them for years, and they are um, a go-to for us. Um, anytime we need a laugh or a giggle, we love them. Um, what we're about to do, I don't think is illegal, but we are going to highly suggest that you buy the books. We will leave the link down below for you to go buy it on Amazon mm -hmm. or any app. I think you can get it other than Walmart. They don't sell a lot of books, but yeah. But it'll probably be the Amazon app. Mm -hmm. And you can purchase this book. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, like we said, we highly recommend getting these books. But if you do, make sure before you and your kids look at it, or you, well, your kids. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting kind of mixed up here. Make sure you look in it and there's no bad words or some people call dirty words in it. Because sometimes there is. And you can just take a Sharpie and black it out. But you might want to do a couple streaks because you can still see it the first time. Because mm -hmm. we've had to do this. So, what we're going to do is we are going to show you the picture, and then we're going to read um, the comment that goes with it. And it's lots of fun to read this now with kind of a um, COVID quarantine outlook, um, and think about them in that way. It's fun. Yep. Also, if you see us looking down at the phone, it's because we took a picture of the quotes that are on the page, so we can actually read them, because on the camera... They are upside down or kind of like weird. See, you can't read them. Are you going to read this one? Yeah, I'll read this one. Okay. Turns them all over up. And don't pay attention to my fingernails. We've been crafting. Maud. Maud. Maud was peed. Her 3.30 yoga class was full again. Did anybody work in this town? There you go. Shout out to Chandra Green. I would tell Maud about Chandra because Chandra's doing some... um online classes so Maud wouldn't have to be angry because hundreds of people could be in the class with you you can just zoom zoom the class Maud mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you wouldn't have to be around nobody nope do it do it in your bedroom do it in your bathroom for Maud. outside I'll do this one. you want to do this one yeah. okay it's a fun one Bridget had to ask herself if the all over body wax had in fact been a very bad idea girl I, get you. I feel like lots of us are going to be asking ourselves this question. Like, oh, was that a bad idea? Because we've been all doing some some maintenance and um, things Let's through quarantine. Let's just say, not lots of good things. Like, some people have been piercing some weird places. Don't do that. Unless that. you are a professional. Who have you been talking to? I don't know. I was thinking more like hair dye or haircut yeah. is what I was thinking. Our dad during this quarantine shaved all of his hair off. Quarantine. Quarantine. Thank all you. Of it. He shaved his head. He did. We're getting, we're getting to that picture. Okay. Here's one of my favorites. Here, yeah. You hold it. I'm going to read this one. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here's Helen. Here's Helen. Helen knew all about the dangers of UV rays, but roasted, toasted, but roasted, <laughs> baked, or fried, she simply looked best with a tan. I get it, Helen. I get it. Spray tan. Listen, Spray I give tan. a big shout out to Helen Lewis on this one. Helen Lewis. No, listen, listen. She told Milo how to bake herself, wrap herself in tinfoil, and go lay out in the sun. Stop. <laughs> okay, so this is this is when we're gonna show. This is why Shane shaved his head. Um, when I see this, when I think about like a mandate that maybe Governor Lee would put forth that said um, that everyone had to you know shave their facial hair because facial hair holds germs. Mm -hmm. So he said you have to do this. And then he said, wait a minute. I mean, I'm going to take that mandate back. And, and you're not, don't, don't do that. Wait a minute. Mandate 30. Shave. 
And then they finally said, make up your mind. Just they stop, stop it. <laughs> Okay, hold this one up. Hold this one up. This is one of my favorites. This is this goes out to all the parents. Ooh. Right there. Just right there. Okay. They called her fat, but mama called her sturdy. They called her obstinate, but mama called her ambitious. They said she wasn't graceful, but mama said she was a powerhouse. And now the hefty little underdog from King Valley had won the gold. The only obstacle left was getting out of the arena without being tarred and feathered by Russia and Finland. Mama. Look at the tiny picture of that one room. That was a good one. I love that one. The next one. Little powerhouse. Girl, I get you. Let's do this one. I know. This is a good one. You want me to read this? Sure, you can read this one. I feel like this is like a classic quarantine picture. Yeah, this is Minerva. Okay. Minerva, like mm. Minerva. It's a odd, it's an odd name. I know you don't hear that in East Tennessee very much. Minerva liked to stay indoors, where the rooms smelled reassuringly of ca 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 Kasha. Mm -hmm. The one time she ventured out, it was chilly and honestly quite frightening. So frightening, isn't it? Going to be so frightening, like to see people again. I haven't seen like people. Other than my people, in weeks. And neighbors. Yeah, we've seen neighbors, but not like, just frightening. Yeah, it's not it's like, on um, birthdays, like people, some people have birthdays during this stuff. Maybe. Qu quarantine today. Yeah. Um, they won't get to have parties, parties. until after. Absolutely Let's read this not. one. Okay. This is Amy, and she's doing the right thing. She is going to counseling. I'm going to read this one. Mm -hmm, okay. Mama this is, loves this one. This is Amy and her therapist. Okay. This is Amy. At $225 a session, Amy didn't want to talk about her intimacy issues. She wanted to know what Dr. Arlo thought about her new shoes, if he liked the bangs, and whether he too looked forward to their weekly sessions with a gnawing anticipation. I love, I just want to say shout out to your purse right there. Look at that leopard print, Amy. Yeah, and then them, I, I think I see them, some snake skin on them boots. Yeah, so if I was Amy's therapist, I like, would start out every session with like, girl, are those new shoes? Yeah, I love those shoes. And that bag? Yeah, that bag. Did you get new bangs? Yeah, I mean, like those bangs, you rocking it. Amy? Be like, next time I get bangs, I'll be like, does people like my bangs? That's how you're going to probably have to go see a therapist about it. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I used to have bangs. And on my fourth birthday, they went bye, bye, bye. She cut her hair. Bam. It was devastating. I cried. I thought there was moss in it. Yeah, I want to do this one. We so didn't this is, I, just, I just did for you. I'll hold it. So this is Birdie's favorite, and I feel <laughs> like um, this is the struggle for parents right now. We're trying to get our kids to be active. Um, and, and so this was the struggle. Get off the video games, kids. This was the struggle with Reuben, too. Reuben was soon realized that the family... Okay, wait, time out. I want you to read slower and enunciate your words. Okay. Open your mouth. Reuben soon realized that the family picnic was just another uh, one of his parents' schemes to trick him into exercising. As they finally neared to the picnic table... He felt he couldn't be held responsible for what might happen if there was a Twinkie in that basket. If there wasn't a Twinkie in that basket. If there wasn't, oh, if there wasn't a Twinkie mm -mm. in that basket. Reuben has we, worked hard, and he's he's won a little payoff. Listen, he just rode a bike up a hill. I feel you. Yeah. Except I do not like Twinkies. Give me an oatmeal cream pie. Oatmeal cream pie with little Debbie. Shout out to mm -hmm. little Debbie. Hashtag quarantine food. Hashtag, Hashtag sushi. Pounds. Okay, so winging it, we suggest that you buy this book and any of the other ones by Sloan Tan and you will not be disappointed. Also, um, I'm going to share her email address if I can find it because I think she should do a new chick book and it should be like Appalachian chicks. <laughs> it should be like like East Tennessee Southern chicks. Like they could do like um, like Baptist chicks. Yeah, Pentecostal chicks. <laughs> um, they could do like softball mom chicks. They could do um, little cheerleader chicks. 
Wouldn't that be so much fun? They could do like a little softball chicks. I feel like one of the quotes would be like mm -hmm. hitting the ball over the fence and then like jumping up in the air like over the fence, like the chick like jumping over the fence. That would be so funny. Anyway, so we're gonna we're all gonna send her um we're all gonna send her an email and tell her <laughs> that we want her to do this, a book about us. Okay. Um I hope you enjoyed it. We are all doing our best to get through this. Um and we will not only get through it, but we're going to grow through it. We have. Right? Yeah. Bye. Bye.